Okay, so it's already done, and I'm just going to show you again. Okay, symmetry, everything the same, display. And you can see what happened. Okay, it has already solved it's uh, solved the case somewhat. It, it reached that um, there is a stagnation point where with a low velocity here where, where the air actually hits the body. It, there is some acceleration visible here along the along this curved surfaces which are going to be kind of producing the attachment of the flow and there is some acceleration here over over the rear slant and again the wake at the rear of the car. So it's it's a much better uh, starting point then then just initializing everything with a standard initialization so close that and basically we have done this calculation activities you can say for example we want to have an auto save every 100 iterations uh, which will be okay in this case because the data will be very small uh, usually depending on on how much each of your iteration uh, iterations take i try to um, I try to set the autosave so it happens about once every hour. So even if something crashes or you lose something, you 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 only have to go back an hour or or so. So 100 here and nothing else to do. And you would reach the the run calculation window. And basically here you would just say a number of iterations that you want to do. So for our solution methods, which are first order everything, uh, I'm going to go with 100 here and after that is done you're going to switch to switch to second order so yeah you're busy right and now it's going to create all of the monitors for for drag and everything and start displaying them okay so you can see for example in the scaled residuals when, when it does let's say one or two one or two iterations how that's looking Okay, so the white one is the continuity. And that's the one that you do not want to start going up. <laughs> it always needs to go down. If it starts going up, your case is di diverging and it's uh, going to fall apart. Okay, so drag, for example. And it's going to iterate here. Okay, same with the lift convergence moment conversions and our velocity in that vertex behind the car okay I'm going to continue recording after these 100 iterations are done Okay, so the first part is complete and you can just check all of your graphs and we can see everything is going down, all looks fine and we can see that the coefficient of drag is kind of leveled out, it maybe go a bit higher and then level back down but it, it's a good enough time to, to switch to the second order. Okay, so solution method, second order second order second order okay controls 95 and i'm going to request 500 iterations because it always takes more to reach convergence uh, when you're looking for a more accurate solution and basically when the cd uh, starts um, repeating the well let's say either the third or even third and fourth uh, well this would be the fourth and fifth basically decimal point then I kind of consider it um, converged well enough it would keep falling until it was um, repeating the sixth or seventh decimal point but uh, that would mean 500 or, or more iterations uh, after the initial 500 so 500 for now and I'm going to click calculate and then uh, we'll see, uh, well, it will ask you whenever you change the settings, uh, be it a current number or um, any of the relaxation factors or anything, it would ask you to use the settings for current calculation or future blah, blah, blah. Just click OK and use it for the current one. And uh, this will take about an 
hour and a half or a little bit less and I will continue recording when that's done so see you in an hour or a few seconds for you okay so it has finished uh, all 600 iterations and we can see the switch happened at 100 which is over here and then there was a slight dip down as it kind of lost where it was and then it started iterating and pretty much around even 450 would have been fine but you can see what I was talking about the let's say let's look at the coefficient of drag and you can hear you can see that it started repeating at the fourth and fifth that small point so this is what would be considered a converged solution so the coefficient of drag that we got is for all intents and purposes 0 0.28 so let's see okay so that's within uh, 1.7 uh, percent of the experimental value which is kind of good enough for uh, the usage of wall functions and uh, the coerce mesh which we have here um, now the first thing when doing uh, post-processing in fluent uh, you could, uh, as shown before, display, let's say, the velocity magnitude and uh, you would uh, tick the filled uh, option here, so it, it fills it with color and uh, the levels 100 is the maximum, so it just looks a lot smoother. And I like to display it at the symmetry plane first, so you would click the little X axis here or you can go to views up here and click the view from the X axis x-axis and you can uh, see it from the front or from the rear which is just basically the opposite so I will look at it from the front okay and we can see how our flow has developed uh, by the way you can see some some breakage here uh, like this uh, little line here and, and something going on here and this is just due to geometric imperfections of, of, the, of the geometry itself from Design Modeler. Uh, so you can just look at a cross-section plane which will be, let's say, one millimeter removed from the symmetry plane. So we can, we can make a new plane now. So new surface plane and let's say a point and a normal. So instead of uh, the x being 0, which is the symmetry plane, we're going to put 0. Point, let's say 0 0.1. That's, uh, that's where our vertex is located anyway. And 0 here, that does not matter. And yeah, the direction vector is going to be 1 in the x direction. Okay, so just click create. Okay, and now I'm going to deselect the symmetry and select the plane and click display and you can see the difference there is no more breakage okay so everything is smooth and you can use your right click tool to kind of check velocities around and you can see that um, here it's pretty much the free stream velocity of 40 meters per second and far enough behind the car it's also 40 and in front it's about 40 as expected and when we zoom in you can see that in front near the stagnation point it's about 16 and in the wake we have a low velocity region as expected where uh, we have speeds of about 2 meters per second in order to, to visualize the flow a little bit better there should be kind of uh, two vortexes uh, forming uh, behind the car uh, you can display some path lines for example and uh, we can just say on the plane 9 and let's say skip the 200 for now and just display and when that's done I will zoom out a bit <coughs> okay I'm going to switch it to the symmetry plane to avoid these lines which are 
kind of to the left of the car, but it's showing them anyway. And display again. And you can see there are the, the two distinct vortexes forming behind the car. And you can basically play around with the, with the step size and the number of steps and the, the skip to kind of get the flow lines the way you want them. And you can color them by, let's say, velocity magnitude. And then you can see where, where the velocity is higher and where it is lower just by the color of the line. Uh, the same thing can apply to vectors where you can display your vectors in, let's say, to plane 9, and let's skip 50. Okay, that might be a bit much, let's skip 10. Okay, and now we can scale them to, let's say, 5. And you can just play around with these values until you get something which kind of looks okay. Uh, and you can go to vector options and you, we can uh, maybe give them a larger head, for example. And display again. And basically stuff like that. You can just play around with these settings. There is uh, not really any complex stuff, stuff going on there. Um, okay, that's about it. Uh, and for example, we would like to maybe see that um, uh, counter rotating vortex that forms from the from the beginning of the slant and uh, we can just create some more planes and just uh, look at stuff and visualize our flow so let's say i want to create a new plane and i want it to be a point in a normal or you can align the, align it with a surface let's say our velocity inlet so it will be parallel with the velocity inlet and you can just define a point then and let's say zero 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 no i'm going to move it to around half of the slant so it's going to be around here okay so let's say zero point one okay create close and i'm just going to display the body also so you can uh, see where the plane kind of is okay and you can see Here's our, our plane. Obviously, the velocity on the body itself is zero because it's a, it's a no-slip wall. So we can look at that from, let's say, the front, and we can just hide our body, okay? And you can see, for example, here where uh, there is a, a slightly greener area. Uh, here's where our vortex is forming, but we can look at it uh, probably a lot better with the vorticity magnitude for example and then you can remove this auto range and just say let's say 2500 and display okay when there is a, a black hole that means you have kind of underestimated the value so you can just increase okay and you can see this is where our vortex is and I'm going to display this uh, uh, as an as a volume later in CFD post, but basically it's there. That, that's just what I wanted to check. Okay, so uh, another thing that's of interest when we were doing the meshing, if you remember, I was uh, constantly mentioning the Y plus. So we can go to our turbulence and display the wall Y plus, and you can only display it on walls, which are our aim at body and our road. and I'm just going to click display and zoom to fit. Okay. And you can see its um, auto range is telling us that the computed value, the maximum is uh, 2700. So that's kind of a lot and that's uh, in areas that are far away. So the, the flow is very fast and the cells are very large and this is what's causing that. But uh, near our body where we actually care about it it is around 100 but in order to in order to see that better i'm also going to remove this auto range and limit this to about 250 because i know it's going to be under that value 